I'm Jake with Minus the Bear. We're here at Webster Hall in New York City. I'm talking about the Vox AC30. I first started playing AC30s because I was chasing that sound, like this, the specific chimey AC30 tone. I'd been playing a lot of different, more American voiced amps uh, for a while, um, and I just wanted something that responded more to my touch, more to how I was playing guitar. Went through a few different of the Vox style amps until I arrived at the, you know, there's no point other than having an AC30, so um, happily I'm, I've been using them for a few years now. I think the way that Minus the Bear approaches writing new material, we don't have a setup kind of idea or specific um, thought of this is how the next record's gonna be. Um, usually it's where Dave Knutson, his head, the other guitar player, his head's at at the time um, in the writing space, the music that's been influencing him. Uh, for example, like between our first record, Pirates, and our second, he got really into um, Fortet and um, Ratatat, all these different glitchy electronic bands. And that's where the kind of Line 6 sampling came into play in a big way the first time. So sometimes it's influenced by the technology available just to get a different texture that sends us into kind of a new auditory world. More recently, I think between Infinity Overhead and, and Voids, just the vast time frame between the two, five years, and all the um, uh, changes, you know, we had kids and all these things. There's an inevitability like of change and uh, came out, I think, in the new record, lyrically, and um, having Alex contribute more lyrically to the record and, and singing on a couple songs. He's our keyboard player and new drummer on this record. This record has a, a lot of structural changes that I think led to expansion, a change of direction somewhat. So yeah, I'm excited to be out here putting it on the road. When I'm looking for a guitar amplifier, I want something that has the ability to, like, that's it, not so loud that it's not playable on a normal stage. Um, something that you can drive a little bit and get it to work the tubes. Um, and not, ha you know, a lot of amps are just too, in my opinion, too loud uh, for most of the work most people do. And um, having a 30 watt amp is kind of the way to kind of the perfect balance of volume and being able to drive it so that you get some tone out of the thing, actually. Uh, when we were making Voids, um, my guitar sound consisted of the AC30, um, which was always present, and then another amp. It was kind of up to our producer at the time. He was kind of, he would just take the sound that I had and augment it to find something crunchier, something bassier, or just go in a different direction. So this hand wired pretty much is the tone of the record for sure.